There is a new audit out, and it shows that the Portland streetcar's leadership system needs an overhaul. Here are the facts. The audit shows the city assumes all of the risks associated with running the streetcar. It's specifically focused on the streetcar's operations and also the maintenance. And it found the city is violating state law because of the way it allows the streetcar's private partners to control public money. So we wanted to know how that can happen and what's being done to change it. Tim Becker went to get some answers. Portland Streetcar is a public-private partnership initially started by the city and a nonprofit entity called Portland Streetcar Incorporated. They later added TriMet, and now the auditor's office is calling the bureaucracy convoluted and confusing. I think it's pretty messy if you look at the, the chart. City Auditor LaVon griffin Valade shows me the streetcar accountability chart. Multiple organizations all operating without a comprehensive mission statement and strategic plan. Who, if anybody, is accountable for letting something start off that way and evolve to where it is now? City decision makers along the way over time. One concern we had is that it evolved over 19 years with lots of people watching while that happened. The audit also says the Portland Bureau of Transportation, overseen by Commissioner Steve Novick, dropped the ball in its oversight of its nonprofit partner. Uh, the auditor also has said uh, that they found poor contract management on the part of PBOT. Do you agree with that? There are some issues which we agree were of a concern. Wow, really Technical issues, Novick tells me, issues the audit blames on lack of governance. One example they found, fare box money being collected by streetcar employees rather than city employees. Since it's still city money, the rules as we read them say those should be retained by the city, deposited by the city, and so forth. In this case, partly because of that lack of clarity, streetcar employees were dealing with basically emptying the fare box. The auditor is now recommending Novick put strategic planning in place and defer any future expansion plans until they've dealt with the problem. Novick tells me he'll do that. The audit also said that, um, you know, you don't have enough money for basic street maintenance and safety, and you should take care of that before you move on to expand the streetcar further, and we totally agree with that. In Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.